Johnny Crawford. I'm going to tell you about a book called Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Sea of Monsters. This book is by Rick Riordan. The main characters of this book are Percy Jackson, the son of the sea god Poseidon, is very brave. Once, Tyson was in trouble with monsters, and Percy said it's him they want. Annabeth, the daughter of the goddess of wisdom, Athena, is very smart. Many times, she had come up with plans that no one else was able to figure out. Grover, a satyr, is someone who guides demigods or half-bloods to a camp that all half-bloods live in. Tyson, a cyclops, the half-brother of Percy, also the son of Poseidon, is very caring towards Percy. He made Percy a giant celestial bronze that can only kill immortals. Luke, the son of God, the god of trade, Hermes, is a very bad person who tried to kill Percy. The setting is at the camp that the Half-Bloods live in. It is called Camp Half-Blood. And it has a barrier that comes from the tree at the entrance of the camp and protects the Half-Bloods from mortals and monsters because Talia, the daughter of the god of lightning, Zeus, died to protect the camp, creating the tree. The Half-Bloods live there either all year long or they go back to their homes during the school year. In the book, Grover sets off on a quest to find Pan, the god of wildlife that went missing for 2,000 years and gets captured by Polyphemus, a really mean cyclops that likes to eat half-bloods for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The tree protecting the camp gets poisoned, and there's only one thing that can heal it, the Golden Fleece. But there's also another group of half-bloods that is led by Luke, who also wants the fleece to bring back Kronos, the titan that is the father of the gods, and also who wants to get revenge on the gods for banishing him to the depths of Tartarus. Percy, Annabeth, and Tyson go to find the fleece, but run into Luke and his group. As soon as they escape from them, continuing on to Polyphemus' island to get the Golden Fleece and Grover. Once they do that, they go back to the camp and put the Golden Fleece on this tree, and heal the tree. But the Golden Fleece did more than just heal the tree. It brought Talia back to life. The theme of this story is bravery and courage, because Percy, Tyson, and Annabeth were brave and courageous to go on the quest to the Sea of Monsters.